One thing you get from me are completely random reviews. Uh, if I buy something I think I want or need or just am interested in, then I might as well review it if there no one else has. And this is a funny thing is I really couldn't find a lot of reviews for it. So enough of the backstory. Get to the product, James. That's what people are saying. I read the comments sometimes. All right, so what do you think about that? Look at that. Look at that. I see you. I see you right there. Oi, oi do. Oi, that's right. That's a nice big one. All right, um, enough of the crocodile Dundee accents. Uh, a bug zapper. Mars my mind. Or is it a tennis racket? Or is it both? It's not both. It's a bug zapper in the shape of a tennis racket. Actually, this is too small for tennis. Uh, badminton? Um, yeah, you can play badminton with this, so. Anyway, I had a problem with uh, fruit flies. They were everywhere, and um, I just they just kept getting worse. And they would, I'd find them in my port. Actually, I drank on my port, but I had port in there, and I kept they kept landing in my port, and it drove me crazy. I had to put like playing cards on top of my glasses, and just got worse. And some nights I'd find them in the morning, all of them in my port. And um, again, more backstory, but it's it's interesting, right? It's good to know this kind of. That's what I do. I'm gonna do backstories. Uh, all right, so they were like filling up my glass and thinking, well, maybe they're all dead now because they're dead in my port. But nope, there'd be more. Um, and it might have been fruit fly season. I don't know what it is. Um, so eventually, the first thing what I was doing is just like when there's like a couple fruit flies, I would just catch them and kind of let them go. But at, at some point, it's like, nope, it's war. So I went online and black flag. There's a few of these things. Mine's black flag. And I think it takes, well, why don't I open it up and make sure, two AA batteries. Um, they go in the bottom here, and um, there you go. It's it's that easy. So what you do is you hold the button. I'm not going to really hold it down just in case I hit something. I hold the button and then just like float it across the air, and when a, a fruit fly is in the uh, air space, boom, zap. You'll hear, it. You'll hear it and see it pop, pop, pop. It's pretty cool. I just, there's no fruit flies out. Actually, I could wave around. There's... Yeah, there's nothing in the air for it to hit. I'd be shocked if it if, if it zapped. Uh, so, does it work? Yeah, actually, got rid of all the fruit flies. Um, it's just good. It's just those things are small, hard to see, and fast. So it's like sometimes I would just wave it randomly, and pop, I would get one. Uh, pretty cool. I, a friend of mine, she asked about it, and I kind of owed her a favor anyway, so I just mailed it off, and then I asked her, uh, you know, how's it working? And she said, great. It was just we keep it away from. Her. She has like little twin daughters. Keep it away from the daughters because I guess you don't want the kids. Uh, I don't know what it's like to be shocked by because I have not pressed the button and touched it. Like it's 2,700 volts. Um, again, not low in amps, of course, but still 2,700 volts from these little tiny batteries. Uh, that's what capacitors do. Well, I guess a little button lights up when you're holding it, but that way you know the battery is still good. So yeah, I don't know what it feels like to be zapped by it. I'm not going to try. I will say one little thing. It, yeah, fruit flies at work. I think regular flies. I haven't really tried regular. I mean, there was a house fly that was pretty darn big. It was pretty huge, and it was annoying me, so zap, a uh, huge pop and a huge spark. But it um, it didn't die, actually. It just it kept living, thought, so it can kind of kill the fruit flies. I think regular flies. The thing about this other thing, I think it was kind of brain dead because it kind of sat in one place for a long time and started moving less and less. And then I felt, like, guilty and sad, and, like, all right, I took it outside in a in a paper towel and let it go. I'm sure it probably died quickly after that. But yeah, so it doesn't always, it's not like those ones that, you know, you put outside the house and you plug it in that just like, it leaves a dust, of, like ashes underneath. I mean, this, I don't know what happens. I guess I vacuum them up, but I haven't really seen any uh, fruit for they're so small and zapped. But uh, yeah, I would highly recommend 10 bucks. So if you've got a problem with uh, fruit flies, um, this is what you got to do. This this thing is cool. Now they're gone. I mean, I, I zapped them all and I don't know if it was just coincidence, but they're like, I haven't seen a fly since. So I'm ready to like go to town and play some tennis. Oh, there's something floating. I think it's just uh, dust. Won't do anything against dust. Uh, I was ready to go to town against stuff and they all disappeared. Maybe they got the word. The word got out. I'm ready to play. I came to play. Game on, Nats. Fruit flies, stuff, game on. I'd recommend it. Ten bucks, black flag. Yeah, works great.